Hello film and culture class and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are in week 10. Sorry if I sound super gross. It's cold outside. Allergies, right? Okay. Okay. We watched American Psycho and Idiocracy. First question. How is this weekend's reading connected to the two films we watched? Give one example per film. I think I'm going to start with American Psycho just because it was the more apparent and obvious one, I guess. Um, dominant ideology was definitely represented throughout this entire movie. When he, Patrick Bates, was very dominant, masculine man, like, represented in this movie. He was always working out. He was killing women. Not that that expresses dominancy, but, like, he was just very aggressive and, like, this, like, big macho man. So I think that explains, or that connects with our readings of dominant ideology. And for idiocracy, I think it ties into it, like, um, the trying, the, the couple of people that were trying to resist that, like, dominant, dominancy of, like, living those, like, robotic routine lives where there's really like they're not really people almost and i think an example of that would be like when joe comes from the past and comes and tries to like break that dominancy with people and educate people and try to break that so i think that's how both of them connected with this week's reading where did i see a dominant ideology showcase in films this weekend um definitely in one that obviously comes straight to my mind would be idiocracy and like the hierarchy of um the presidential standpoint in that and just like everyone doing like being influenced by that dominant ideology of like living these weird robotic n no emotion mindless lives so i think that would definitely be one and then where did i see i cannot pronounce that hit hegemonic hegemonic order um the example that i would use for that would definitely be patrick bates in american psycho i think he's just like this typical like hollywood rich man who's handsome he has it all and i think that's where i saw that and which film did i prefer and why i liked Idi idiocracy i thought it was really interesting because like I mean, not saying that that's gonna happen, obviously, but, like, we don't know what's in the future, you know? And I thought it was, like, cool. Like, I'm really into, like, conspiracies and stuff like that, and I think that movie is, like, an entire, like, sort of conspiracy theory. And just, like, maybe, you know? I think that was very interesting to watch. And I've seen American Psycho so many times. That was my first time seeing Idiocracy, so I definitely preferred that one. Thanks.